Hello, welcome everybody to the Inverted Wander. Today we're going to be exploring some pranayama or breath control. So a part of yoga is learning how to control our breaths and learning how it controls our body and our mind. So today we're going to be focusing on the loma. So loma means hair and vai means, uh, denotes negation. So it means against, going against the natural order of things, going against the hair, going against the green. So for today's practice, all you're going to need is two blankets, and I'm going to teach you how to pull those um, now and getting ready for our practice. Now, if you are um, someone that suffers from high blood pressure, I recommend you lie down. Otherwise, you do have the option of doing this in a seated position, maybe on a couch, maybe in a chair, or a bolster, or a blanket, or a block, you're welcome to do that. But I like to practice this breath on the ground, as it really allows you to focus on the breathing and not have to focus on maintaining an upright posture. So like I said, today you're going to need two blankets. Um, it can be any kind of blanket that you have lying around the house. As you can see, I've got some mid -back, mid match blankets here. And I'm going to teach you right now how to fold them to get ready for this problem. So, to start, you want to start out with your blanket, um, preferably long, um, so that one side you can see in front of the top is longer than going down this side, so what we call a hot dog. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and fold that in half. Okay, so we fold it in half and we still have one side that is longer than the other. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fold it into thirds. So you fold um, one end, about halfway, and then you fold another. So that it becomes this very long piece. It kind of looks like a straight line, like a spine. And when you look at the end, you're going to see three different spots kind of far away to see from here. So go ahead and set that piece um, so that it is in line with the shape of your mat if you have it, or just lie it flat on the ground while we go ahead and fold the other one. So the other one, we're going to start in the same way that we did. This one for me is a little bit longer. Okay, so you're going to start with a long piece like this, so one side is longer and one side is shorter. From here, you're going to go ahead and fold it in half. So fold it hamburger way, right? So you still have one side that is longer than the other, and then doing the same thing, we're going to fold it into thirds. Okay, so we fold one in like this, and then we fold one more. So again, ending up with a very long and a very short. Now we're going to stack this one on top of the one that we already have placed. Now you may notice that mine falls a little bit, and that's great for what we're trying to do. But it's okay if it doesn't, because um, what we're going to do is we're going to be making a little head piece. Think of it as making like a little pillow, right? So we're going to bring that little pillow, and you may notice that the sides don't line up, and that's okay because our sides can be lying over these pillows, okay? So folding this up into a little pillow as such. So this is what it's going to look like. And in just a second, we're going to come and lie all the way down. So lining up our spine with our head landing up here in this nice little pillow that we made. Now, what this does again is allows us to get into all the different parts of our lungs. So our lungs are not only in our front, but they're on our side and our back. And so having a light cushion like this allows us to breathe instead of lying on the heart. So, real quick, before we lie down and we do this practice, I want to go over a little bit of what it's going to look like. So, the loma, like I said, is going against the natural order of things. So, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inhaling, pausing, inhaling, and pausing in the first stage. In the second stage, we're going to be exhaling, pausing, exhaling, pausing. So, again, we're going against the natural order of things. When we're breathing, right, it's a constant, it's a continuous in, Continuous out. There's usually no pausing if it is in the notes that can't be hanging at the top. But in this practice, we are actually going to be pausing, which means holding our breath for two seconds. So how it goes is inhale for two, hold for two, inhale for two, hold for two, inhale for two, hold for two. Hold for two. Now it may take you more than three times to completely fill up your lungs, and that's okay. Same with the exhale, right? We'll be exhaling for two, hold for two. Exhaling for two, hold for two, exhaling for two, hold for two, until we are completely out. 
Now, as we inhale, as we get up to the top, we're going to hold for 5 to 10 minutes. And then when we do the exhaling and pausing, we'll get all the way down to the bottom again. We're going to be holding our breath for 5 to 10 minutes at the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through stage one, which is the inhaling and holding. And then we'll go through stage two, which is the exhaling and pausing and holding at the very end. Okay? So now that we're ready, we've got our blanket set up to support our spine. We're going to go ahead and bring our blankets to our bum and then push them out just a little bit. <clears throat> now your legs, you can put them straight, you can bend them, you can come in without a kamasana, it kind of depends on your flexibility and what you like to do that. So if you've got a ponytail, go ahead and take that out. Right, bring it to our spine, bringing that, lifting our chest up, and then slowly coming to lie down. You need to adjust that head pillow piece. This is just so that it lifts our head and our neck a little bit higher so there's no restriction in the throat. Next, go ahead and give yourself a big hug and kind of move out of that, move whatever we want to call it, the muscle, that skin. That way we can fully open up, giving our lungs all the space that it needs to start with this bottom breath control. I'm going to prop up my head pillow a little bit more. There we go. So it's a little bit of a back pattern. Like I said, if it's too much on your back, you can bend your knees. If you want to go a little bit further, you can open it a bit early. We're focusing on the breathing today. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do the stage one, which is inhaling, pausing, inhaling, and pausing, for about 10 to 15 rounds of that. And I'll cue us through it with the whole going one, two, one, two, and then at the very top. Now, everyone's breath is going to be a little bit different, so you may find that you're holding the five to 10 before I am, or maybe after I am, and that's okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and bring our arms down by our sides. Let's go ahead and breathe out. We're going to breathe in, one, two, hold, one, two, 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 in, three, one, two, hold, three, one, two, and then last one, hopefully, you breathe in, one, two, and then we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one, and then go ahead and exhale with the dry breath. That Darth Vader, that wave sound crashing, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do it again. We're going to go a little bit slower this time, but you're going to inhale for two, pause for two, inhale for two, pause for two, inhale for two, until so you're all the way full, and then hold for five to ten. So go ahead and breathe everything out. Inhale, one, two, pause, one, two. 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 Inhale, one, two. We go for ten, five, four, three, two. One, five, four, three, two, one, and then breathe out with a few dry breath. Okay, let's go ahead and do that again. Breathe in. Breathe out all the air. Go ahead and inhale. One, two, hold. One, two. Inhale. One, two, hold. One, two. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Give me one more. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blue dry your breath out. When you get to the bottom, let's go ahead and do it again. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Inhale, one, two, hold, 
two. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Inhale, one, two, hold, one, two. Do one more. Inhale, one, two, hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathing out with an exhale. So go ahead and do that a few more times at the end of the exhale. Inhale, hold. So that inhale, hold, inhale, hold, inhale, hold, inhale, hold for ten. stage two. So now, instead of inhaling, pausing, inhaling, pausing, we're going to exhale and pause, exhale and pause, exhale and pause, and we'll be all the way down completely empty. We're going to hold for that five to ten minutes. So for this first time, we're going to inhale deeply without pausing all the way through our lungs full. Inhale. Go ahead and exhale. One, two, three, Exhale. 
hold, exhale, hold, exhale, hold, half one, exhale, hold for ten, five, three, two, one, five, and inhale. Exhale two, hold two, exhale two, hold two, exhale two, hold two, exhale two, hold for ten, five, three, two, one, inhale, exhale, two, hold, exhale, hold, exhale, hold, exhale, hold, exhale, hold for ten, Three, two, one, go ahead and inhale, exhale, hold, exhale, hold, exhale, hold, exhale, hold for ten. Three, two, one. Last time, take a big inhale. Go ahead and exhale, two. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold for ten. Five, three, two, one. This time inhaling and exhaling normally. Pausing for a moment to see how that feels in our body. And slowly starting to bend our knees, placing our feet flat on the floor. Slowly rolling off of our blankets, coming into a fetal position. Going ahead and pushing ourselves up. Coming to find a seated position, you can put your hands onto your knees. This is a perfect time to go into a meditation because we've just controlled our breath. So hopefully that you notice that your mind becomes a little bit more quiet. There's a little bit more clarity. This type of breath is also really good for anyone that needs to relieve anxiety, anyone that is suffering from PMS tension, and also anyone that is suffering from low blood pressure, the inhaling and holding is really good for you. Anyone suffering from high blood pressure, the exhaling and holding is really good for you. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's short tutorial on the Vilna Pranayama. If you did, please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you next time on the Andrea Walker. Namaste. Bye.